So we're back on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be out here on Reventuli Coast, and we're going to be trying out the third and final handgun in the Assorted Sidearms Weapon Pack. So today we have the 10mm Devani. So the 10mm Devani, as you can see, is a Glock. Um, it holds 15 rounds in the magazine, which is crazy. Effective range is 50 meters, and recommended class is 2 through 6. So I'm really excited to actually try this one out. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how it maybe fits into our loadout in the future, perhaps. So it does have its own little sight, the um, Marksman Devani Reflex sight, so that's pretty cool as well. So there it is with the sight. I'm pretty sure you can customize the um, reticle in the middle. I just haven't done it yet, so you can do that, I think. And then here it is without the sight, with just the um, iron sights. So we're going to go ahead and run around out here. I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to shoot some animals with this gun, test it out, see how good it is, and hopefully we can get a um, Caber Kaylee to go aggressive. That is the main goal, I think, is to get a Caber Kaylee to go aggressive. I was able to get one to go aggressive the other day, but he wasn't attacking me. It was really weird. He was just kind of running in one straight line, so maybe we'll get one, maybe we won't, but let's go ahead and jump right in and see if we can find us some animals. So we have a level 6 brown bear up ahead, 23 to 26, so I think we're going to go ahead and take down this guy with the 10mm Devani. So like I said, it's classes 2 through 6, so it's not going to be that powerful against him, but I think it should be able to take him down. We also have a white tail right there, it looks like it's just a doe, so, or maybe it is a buck, it's a level 1, so we could definitely take him down. Um, but I think I want to go for the um, brown bear, just because I know there's some bigger bucks out here to take down. So, looks like he's just going to continue to walk around in circles right there. So as soon as he like does that again, we'll go ahead and go for the shot. Um, yeah, he should turn right there. So, okay, now he's going to start running. So, that sounds about right. Um, just as I get ready to go for the shot, he's going to start doing a little trot there. So, looks like he's going to turn. Let's go for that right there. So he was quartering, quartering away just a bit there, but... I think we should manage to hit into one of the lungs. So we could go for this white tail buck while we're here. So let's go ahead and miss that shot. Yeah, that was terrible. Never mind. So, well, kind of had to wait and see about that brown bear as he's um, heading over the hill there. We'll see if he's going down 50 to 75. So yeah, definitely got a vital hit on that, guys. So we're going to go follow him and see how good we did. So here's our brown bear right here. So let's go ahead and pick him up and see how good we did. I imagine we had to have hit at least one of the lungs there, and we did. Actually got left lung, liver, and stomach. Okay, so that was actually kind of a good shot. A little bit far back on the lung there. Just kind of like I expected because he was, like I said, quartering away just a bit. But left lung, liver, and stomach. So pretty good shot. And it took him down pretty quickly as well. 24.64. So he would have been a decent gold had we shot him with the correct ammo. So just very interesting. I like to shoot animals with new guns and stuff like that. Um, that may not actually be in the recommended class. Just to kind of see if they take him down fast or not. So that was pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and move on and see if we can take down, like I said, maybe some white tail and stuff like that. Okay guys, so we have a level 3 black grouse up ahead, 118 to 128, so if you've been following the channel for quite some time, I've wanted a diamond black grouse for quite a while now since the um, Revan Tuli first came out, so I am very excited about this, so this is my first level 3, so we're definitely going to go ahead and try and take down this guy, there is another one right here, level 2, um, 104 to 114, so yeah, we're definitely going to sneak up on this guy, we do have the 12 gauge Cacciatore right here, so we can definitely try and get him with that, so... We're going to kind of just stop things with the Devani here for a second and try and get this guy. I also saw a Caper Kaylee down there that I wanted to try and go over there and see if we get to go aggressive. But we're going to put that on hold over here and let's go see if we can get this guy. I will let you know when we're closer to him and let's see if we can take the, down this guy. Guys, so I've decided to go ahead and just start running over here. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find this guy. And there he is right there. So we don't have to shoot these out of the air, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to go ahead and do it. Or... We're gonna miss that shot, um, as you can see. I'm, I'm very bad with the shotgun, but we got him there, so that was actually perfect. And then let's go ahead and see if we can get that one as well. I don't know if we hit him. Um, that would have been the level two. Okay, yeah, we didn't hit him, so I'm not gonna worry too much about him. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him get away unless we get him like right here as I shoot. And yeah, I don't think we got him, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But let's go ahead and pick this level three up and see how we did. So he is gonna be a diamond at 120.32. So Finally, a diamond um, black grouse. That's something, like I said, I've been waiting for one of these for quite some time now. I'm super excited about this. And it's another diamond checked off our list of diamonds that we need. So that's another thing. And I think they're one of the coolest birds in the game. So really cool. We finally have a diamond black grouse, 120.32. So diamond is 120, right? Yeah, diamond's 120. So he's just right there. And I've had a lot of level twos, like I said, that have been really, really close to diamond, but just would not make it whatsoever. So really cool to see um yeah we're gonna go ahead and just accept that we taxed him we'll go to the lodge here in a little bit because we still want to test out this um 10 millimeters so let's go see if we can find some white-tailed deer 
So we have a white tailed deer up ahead, level 2, 192 to 233. So he's a pretty decent one. I'm um, definitely max weight potential there. There's also some others over here. So we're going to go ahead and probably try and take that guy. So about 145 meters out. So it's definitely going to be a bit of a longer shot here. But I want to go ahead and test that anyway. So we'll go like right there and that hit him for sure. So it's just a matter of if it's going to take him down or not. I don't know how good the shot was. So 50 to 75. Yeah, it looks like a good shot. 25. He is holding his leg right there, so I think maybe we hit a bit low, And but he did, he's going down, so I mean, that's a good thing. So there's some others in here, just want to check them out. Level 2, 168 to 208, um, yeah. So we do have another herd right over here behind us as well, so we can definitely take one of them. That one's actually pretty decent, and technically diamond potential, 228 to 269, and 155 is diamonds. So we'll probably go over there and try and take him down. Let's go over here and check this guy out and see how we did. Okay guys, so as I was walking over here, these whitetail are coming back in, so this guy is within about 80 meters, so we're going to get a bit of a closer shot on one of these, that other one is also back there, so either one will do, but since this one is giving us the best shot, I think we'll go ahead and take him at 77 meters. So, let's go ahead and go for it, and we shouldn't have to aim too high, we'll just kind of go for a normal shot there, and that should be good unless it just did not enter into one of the lungs, but I assume it probably did, 57.5, yeah, he is going to go down as well, so... Pretty interesting to see. We have two white tail, two white tail. I can't even talk. White tail deer down over there. So let's go over here and check these guys out. Here's our first white tail deer right here. So we got him in the right scapula and the left lung. So it's quite interesting. We completely missed the um, right lung and managed to get into the left lung somehow. So I knew we'd hit like that right leg because of the way he was limping around. So I just thought it was lower than that. I didn't realize we'd hit so far forward, but still, really good shot for the most part to take him down. 232.42. So he's going to be a really, really big gold. And yeah, very interesting get 144 meters, and um, we took that guy down. So our other one should just be right here, and he is. I see him um, glowing right there. So this was the one that was like 77 meters or something like that, 78 meters. Got him in the left lung there um, as he was um, standing towards us, and really good shot. And 176, he's going to be a silver. So yeah, the 10 millimeter is very good on whitetail, it seems like, at least for single lung and stuff. So really excited to continue to try it out. So let's go over here and see if we can take down this big guy. Okay guys, so there's our big level 2 right there, so I accidentally spooked these guys up, I didn't realize that they were as close as they were, so right now he is still fleeing, there's a lot of them that have went nervous and he just went nervous right there, so I want to go ahead and try and take him down, he is alert now, so let's go ahead and see if we can take down this guy before he decides to flee, so definitely hit him there, I'm going to have to wait and see if it's going to be a good shot or not, um, I didn't want him fleeing because and he, he's down now, so that's a pretty good shot I would say, so yeah, the wind was going directly towards them, so I didn't want to chance it on him fleeing again and not getting a shot on him, so we won't shoot any of these others, there's a level 2, 146 to 187 there, and I do think there's one just over the hill as well, so we're just going to leave them be, I gotta actually add these three white tail that we shot to our total for the great one grind, because um, who knows a great one could spawn off these at any time so we are currently, let's see, um, 3,515 kill or 14 kills, 3,514 kills into the Great One Whitetail grind. So I've actually took quite a bit of a break from it. Um, every once in a while, I'll come out here and just hunt a little, but still no Great One Whitetail. So who knows when that's going to be? But let's go ahead and pick this guy up. So he's going to be a gold at 237.27. Got him in the left lung and right lung. So yeah, this gun definitely takes him down pretty quickly, which is good to see. So. I would say it's a pretty good whitetail gun. Um, I'm not going to be using it on whitetail all the time, but it's still a pretty good whitetail gun, I'd say. So left lung, right lung, 237, really nice gold whitetail. So we have some more whitetail up ahead. So we have a 160 to 201 right there. There's actually a dime potential 223 to 264 there. Um, some others scattered in, a 175, 215 there, and a level 2 again, 135 to 176. So we could really just take down any one of these. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and probably go for that one, the dime potential one. Um, he's definitely not going to be dime with that rack though. So he is going broadside for us, and if anything, we'll take down this one since he is um, perfectly broadside at 62 meters. So it's just whichever one wants to go first, and we might take both of them right here actually. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's go for this guy, and then let's follow up on this one as well. So we definitely got both of them, or at least hit it. That one's going down for sure, and the other one shouldn't go too far. So, yeah, double hunting pressure there. Let's go over here and find these guys. So here's the first one right here. So picking him up, we got him in the right lung, liver, and stomach right there, and the intestines. So basically hit everything you could hit, except like the heart and the left lung there. So 227.61, really, really good shot for the most part. So is this the dime potential? I think it was, yeah, because he was about to go down there to start feeding, and yeah, just hit him and destroyed him there. So 
really good shot and then yeah our other one is just right up the hill here so we'll go ahead and pick him up and it would look like a really good shot as well probably double long if I had to guess the way it looked and he didn't go very far as all at all as you can tell so there is a really big one over here right there 228 to 268 so I definitely think that guy could, could be a level 2 diamond just by the way he looks he looks really really big so we're gonna go ahead and pick this guy up and let's see yeah left lung liver and stomach so this one we just hit left lung there liver in the stomach not too bad maybe thought it could have been double lung but still really good shot at 61 meters he's gonna be a silver 183.43 so let's head over this direction and try and take down this big guy Okay, so we have a pretty good shot on this guy right now. He's perfectly broadside at 111 meters there. So we're going to go ahead and take him down. So 228 to 268. So I don't think he'll be a diamond, but still, he's got a pretty decent rack on him. So we might as well go ahead and take him down anyway. So let's go ahead and go for the shot. So 111, we'll go ahead and go for something like, maybe like right here. Um, we'll go ahead and go for that. And that looked pretty good to me. So... Switching to binoculars here, let's go ahead and see if we can find out where he wins. Is that him right there? That's No, that's not him. So, I don't see where he, and he's down right over there. Never mind, I see him up there. He is down, so perfect shot. Let's go over and check him out. And here's our level 2 right here. So, I mean, he definitely has potential to be a diamond. He's got some really thick antlers on him. So, let's go ahead and pick him up, and we'll see. And he's going to be a gold at 254.78. So, 255... 0.09 is diamond so I knew he looked thick once we got over here but he just didn't have enough he was super super close to being a diamond got him in the right lung and the left lung there absolutely perfect shot at 110 meters so that is just super super unfortunate I would have loved to have got a diamond with the um, 10 millimeter but just unfortunate but still a really big white tail really can't ask for much bigger than that before being a diamond so pretty cool these others are also coming back in over here so is there a male I'd love to take another one down um I don't see any males, just them two females, and that is it. So I think we'll just let them live. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something else. So we have a raccoon dog up ahead. It is just a level two female, four to five for her estimates. But I want to go ahead and try and take her down with the 10 millimeter. I mean, it will um, ethically take her down. So I'm just interested. I haven't hunted a whole lot of these, so I thought it'd be really fun to try and take her. So we'll go for that, and she is down. She is, yeah, that just absolutely destroyed her there. So we're going to go over here and check her out. Um, the ones that I have noticed, like when I hunt them, I have noticed they do, do go down pretty quickly, especially from a 243. So... It's definitely probably going to be a tough diamond to get. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably be like a fox or something. Going to take a little bit of grinding and stuff like that. But eventually we will get it done, I guess. So looking around over here, making sure there's not any others. And I don't see any. I know they do travel in pairs most of the time. But I didn't hear or see a male over here. So let's go ahead and pick her up here. And got her in the left lung and right lung. So that was a perfect shot. You really couldn't ask for a better shot, more better shot than that. Um, especially at 83 meters on the trot there. I wasn't too sure if that was going to be good, but it was pretty good to say the least. So she is going to be a bronze of 4.3. So 4.40 is silver. So yeah, she was close to being a silver. And I don't think black white is a rare. I'm not too sure about their rares and stuff like that. I wanted to actually look really quickly. I'm pretty sure I've seen black white before. So just checking it out here. Um, black white is not a rare. Just wanted to make sure it is a common. So we're going to go ahead and move on from that. 1200 cash, not too bad. So we have a level 3 moose up ahead, 155 to 209, so we're going to go ahead and take him down with the 10 millimeters. So they are a class 8, so I want to just go ahead and kind of test it out on the moose just to see how long it'll take him to go down, kind of like we did with the brown bears. So let's go ahead and take the shot here. So we shouldn't have to aim too high, he's about 100 out, so we'll go for that, and that should be pretty good. So there's no other bulls over here, the rest of these are just cows, and what is that? Okay, that's a willow ptarmigan. So... I was like, what the? That sounded so weird. So, just gonna look around, see if we can find that willow tarm again. And yeah, I imagine that shot's gonna be good. Okay, maybe not. 75 to 100. And maybe it is good as well. And it might just take him a while to go down here. So, I'm gonna look for this willow tarm again. And yeah, I just saw that he went down to 50 to 75. So, it is just gonna take him quite a while to go down. So, I'm gonna see if I can find this thing over here, maybe. And then we're gonna go over there and check him out. And here's our level 3 moose. So, he ended up running 328 meters. So, we're gonna go ahead and pick him up. And. We got him, yeah, in the left lung right there, so we actually hit quite high, the thoracic vertebrae, but then managed to clip that left lung, so it was still a pretty decent shot. We got a lung, which is what I wanted to happen there. Um, 
just so we could test it um and just yeah so got him in the left lung thoracic vertebrae um could have clipped that right lung perhaps just a tad bit high like i said so 176.83 he wouldn't have scored anything um above bronze anyway so yeah just a level three moose and yeah he like i said he ran about 328 meters so just wanted to see how far he'd run so we do have a level um one moose right here but just a female um don't know exactly if she's glitched or what but i guess we'll go ahead and take her down so We'll go ahead and I guess go for a brain shot here. Um, yeah, we'll go for that right there. And let's go ahead and put another one into her there because that brain shot did not work. I don't, or maybe it did. It actually did, it looks like. It just took a little longer to take her down because the gun is not powerful enough. So, yeah, we got her in the brain. Just, and then we got her in the flesh the second time. So, with the um, lower, like the smaller guns, um, they do take a little bit longer with vital shots like that sometimes. So, got her in the brain. So, that is all that matters. She went down really quickly there. So,. Yeah, now we're going to go ahead and reload the gun. It's actually really fast reload time, as you can see. It's already reloaded, so let's go ahead and see if we can find some more animals. So we do have a level 4 moose up ahead. 191 to 245, I think is what that said. So I think we'll go ahead and take him down. We're just going to use the 300 on him this time. We're not going to worry about shooting him with, like, the Devani or anything like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and try and take this guy down. So... We'll go ahead and go for, I think, a heart shot right there. Let's go for that. And that is going to be perfect. So these others are going to flee. I was about to take a shot on that guy, honestly, but he ended up just kind of fleeing too quickly. So what is that brown bear right there? I want to see what it is. Um, that is a female. It looks like level 4 female. Um, let's go ahead and take her down. Why not? She's pretty big, honestly, for a female. And I think they get up to level 5. So she's going to be going down pretty quickly there, 25. And she's actually going to land not too far from our moose. So let's head over there and get these two. And here's our level 4 moose right here. So we got him in the heart and the right lung right there. So really, really good shot. It does help that their hearts are really big. So you're able to hit the heart just a little bit easier there. So yeah, really good shot on him. 203.99. So he's going to be a decent little gold. Nothing too crazy about him. And then our bear should just be right behind this rock, if I'm not mistaken. So... We'll go ahead and grab her, and then I think we're going to go ahead and head to the lodge. Um, we've um, hunted with the Devani quite a bit, actually. Um, shot some whitetail, um, shot a brown bear with it, even shot a moose. So we um, shot a whole like wide range of animals, and I think we've got enough out of it to kind of get a feel for it. I'd like to hunt some other animals like on different maps, like Silver Ridge, like the Mule Deer, um, just stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and pick this guy up, and he is going to, or she is going to be a silver at 21.07. Got her in the left lung, stomach, and liver right there, so really decent shot on her um especially from that distance 251 we just kind of spotted her right then and then just kind of shot her so and yeah she looks really cool she is a blonde and just gonna check again on my stuff here and see if blonde is rare i don't think it is or maybe it's an uncommon it looks like so yeah i think i'll actually put her in my trophy manager here i won't worry too much about her um let's see what do we have in here um, I think I'll replace that Tundra Bean Goose. I don't know why it's in there. So, it is an uncommon. I'm not going to tax or anything like that. But I thought that looked pretty, um, or at least not normal, like common, you know. So, we're going to go ahead and head to the lodge and find a place to put our Diamond Black Rouse. So, we're here in the lodge. And we're going to go ahead and probably place our Diamond Black Rouse right down here. So, I did actually get another Diamond Caper Kaylee the other day. It was really random. I literally just shot the thing out of the air and it was a Diamond Level 3. So, that was really cool. So, I think we have four or five Diamond Caper Kayleys at this point. Which is pretty crazy, um, they're really, really common it seems, so we're gonna go ahead and place this, um, Diamond Black Rouse over here, and we'll probably, yeah, we'll just put him right here, and now we need to find a pose for him, so we could definitely do something like the Caper Kaylee right there, um, pretty sure they have the same poses, yeah, it looks like they do, so we could do something like that, or we could do something showing off his wings, um, something like this, um, I don't know, we'll probably do what the Caper Kaylee is doing right there, um, just something like that, um, him facing that way, and then I can always change it later on if I don't like it, so, there we have it, a diamond um, black rouse. We weren't even looking for one, and he just kind of happened to show up. So 120.3, and yeah, really, really cool. So we tried out the Devani, the third and final pistol for the assorted sidearms weapon pack, and it was pretty good for the most part. Like I said, I do want to try it out on like some mule deer, red deer, stuff like that. So we'll definitely have to give that a go at some point. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.